Hey there, cheers everybody. How you doing today? It's good to see you. I'm Susan Swanson and we're traveling from state to state through town to town looking at the market of houses. We're saving on gas, but we're covering a lot of ground here and it's eye-opening to say the least how much house you can get in one area over the other for these price points. Today's episode though is going to be a little bit different, but don't worry, we're going to go back to find those deals in the next episodes. But today is going to be for those of you who are looking for move-in ready. So I'm looking in three different states and three different towns, and we're going to find what the price points are for these move-in ready houses. So grab your coffee and grab a tea and grab a cocktail because you know it's five o'clock somewhere and come along with me as we venture through the market of houses in three states and three towns. Let's move. Before we move over to the market of homes, let's go over the three states and the towns that we are covering today. They're going to be Chattanooga, Tennessee, Montgomery, Alabama, and Augusta, Georgia. And Chattanooga, Tennessee, the population is 182,113 people. The cost of living in Chattanooga, Tennessee is 7% lower than the national average. Then as we move down to Montgomery, Alabama, the population is 196,065 people. The cost of living there is 13% lower than the national average. And then as we follow further down south to Augusta, Georgia, where the population is 201,196 people, the cost of living, again, is 13% lower than the national average in Augusta, Georgia, just like Montgomery. So there are the three states and the three towns that we're going to focus on today. And Augusta, Georgia, the median home price is, let me move this over, $219,000 with a rental price being right around $1,152. Montgomery, Alabama, the median home price there is $136,589 with a rental price being between $775 and $1,144. And then up in Chattanooga, Tennessee, the median home price is higher at $369,900 and that just crossed over into the new year and the rental price is around $1,396. But there are homes in all of these areas that are pretty similar for move-in ready. So let's get looking at the market here. All right, so we're gonna head over to realtor.com as I always do, and we're gonna start out in Augusta, Georgia. Now what I've done here is I put Augusta, Georgia in the search engine on realtor, and I did look there are homes below uh, below ninety thousand dollars, and if you check out my previous episodes, you'll see that you can get homes between thirty and fifty thousand, between fifty and seventy five thousand. But I'm starting at ninety to one hundred twenty five thousand just to see what kind of home we can get in this price point that's move in ready. So I put here single family, and again, you could put in condo, you can put a mobile home in, you can put land in. So we're gonna hit the done here in the listing status. We're gonna hide. Depending, because it does say that there's 44 homes in Augusta between 100 or 90 and 125 dollars. But we're going to hit the pending, hide the pending, and now it quite a few homes are pending because it decreased it by cut it right in half. Alrighty, so let's see what we can get in Augusta, Georgia, between 90 and 125 thousand dollars. So we're going to start right here at this cutie. This is 120 thousand dollars. This is in on Richmond Hill in Augusta, Georgia. Georgia 30906. It's 800 square feet. It's on a little more than a quarter of an acre and it has two bedrooms and one bath. So let's take a look. It looks adorable. It looks like it's white brick. Oh, this is so cute. And this is going to be hopefully move in ready. Certainly looks very clean. All laminated flooring, it looks like. It looks like it has beautiful woodwork, nice doors. Again, the light fixtures, you could always change those out. Looks like it has a textured ceiling. No popcorn ceiling here. The outlets look like they mesh right to the molding. That's a little bit odd. And there's your attic, attic access there. You have an electric stove, double sink, new faucet. Looks like it has a lot of updates. There's the kitchen. It's kind of hard to tell there if you can put an island in. Looks like you might be able to have some kind of an island to maybe break up the space a little bit and give you some more seating. There's the refrigerator. There's your connect for the washer and dryer. So this is one and this is in Augusta, Georgia. There's the bathroom, very nice. Looks like it's been updated as well. So this one is in Augusta, Georgia, and look at that beautiful yard. 
It's all fenced in, it looks. You've got a little cement pad there. Looks very, very cute. Very nice. So this was on Richmond Hill Road in Augusta, Georgia. And this one is $125,000. It's only been on the market for 17 days. And this is a 1948 build. Let's see if we can find another one. Uh, let's look at this one. This is in Hefziba, Georgia. Let's see if this one is move-in ready. This one's been on the market 59 days. This is a 1986 model. Doesn't show us any interior photographs. This is on Leewood Court. And this is, um, sorry about that, 124.9. Not sure what's going on with it. Um, Brick Ranch property is now under auction terms. So this not, can't buy that with conventional financing. So let's move on from there. Uh, let's see if this one, this one looks like it might be moving ready. Okay, so this one is $90,000. It's a three bedroom, one bath with a little bit more square footage. 884 square feet. It's on 6,534 square foot lot, so much smaller lot. It's been on the market for 139 days, and this one is a 1955 model. Looks very clean. Very nice. $90,000 in Augusta, Georgia. Now, this one does not come with appliances. Looks like the bedrooms might be pretty small. There is some carpet, you've got ceiling fans, big windows, there's the bathroom. Similar bathroom for that matter. Big tree in the front, so this one is $90,000 on Dugas Street in Augusta, Georgia, and that one's been on the market for 139 days. Just blocks away from AU Medical and Piedmont Hospital, so if you're a medical worker, that might work out really well for you. And let's see if we can find any more that are moving ready. Let's take a look at this one. This one's $125,000. This one's been on the market for 139 days. It's on almost a half an acre lot. This is a 1951 model, two bedrooms and one bath. Looks like it might need a little attention on the gutter there. Nice molding. And here's the kitchen. This one does have appliances. It does have some carpet. There's the rest of the bathroom there. Looks like it might need a little bit of attention, but doesn't look too terrible in this price point. Alrighty, so this is on Powell Road, and this one is $125,000 on just about a half an acre. Now we're going to go back here and let's bump it up. Let's see what we get between the price of 126,000 and we're going to go right up to 150. Well, we'll go 175. Might as well bump it up. Okay, so this one shows that we have 65 homes that are currently on the market in Augusta, Georgia. So let's look at this one. This is new on the market, $155,000. This looks adorable. This is a two bedroom, one bath with a 9,148 square foot lot. It's a 1941 model. That is adorable. Little Cape Cod. 155000 dollars You do not have a garage, but you do have a nice wide driveway. There's your fireplace. How cute is this? Beautiful hardwood floors. Big windows. That looks like those windows look like they might be updated. Beautiful big doors. Look at the doors. $155,000. This one is in Augusta, Georgia. Move in ready. Very, very pretty. I like this one. And you don't get appliances with this one. You do get the dishwasher, and it does look like it has a single bowl drop-in sink there. This might be, that might be a laundry area. Let's keep looking here. That might be a laundry room. It's kind of hard to say there. Yeah, that's your laundry room right off the kitchen. This looks very nice. Beautiful flooring. 
And there's the bathroom there. Looks like the bathroom might need a little attention. Very nice though, very, very nice home. And this one is on Heath Street in Augusta, Georgia for $155,000, brand new on the market. Okay, here's one. If you want to bump up the price, let's see what else we have in that lower. Here's one for $164,000. This is $164,900 with a 6,098 square foot lot. This has been on the market for four days. It's an 06 model. It's less than 20 years old. Two bedroom, two bath with an attached garage. A little more modern. You've got some carpet. It doesn't look like this one has a fireplace. They look a lot different with furniture, that's for sure. And this one has vinyl flooring and the carpet there. Beautiful kitchen. Just a laminated countertop there. White appliances. Overhead cabinets. Bedroom looks good size. And there's the bathroom. Does it show? Yep, there's your tub and shower. So this is an 06 model on Whitney South Drive in Augusta, Georgia. And this one is $164,900. See what else we have here. This one looks nice. This is $167,000 on a quarter of an acre. This one's been on the market for 64 days. It has a two-car garage, three bedrooms, and two baths with 1,396 square feet. Brick Ranch with an attached garage. Hmm. Looks like this one's going to need a little bit of attention. This is on Spanish Trace Drive. And it's $167,000. They're not going to show us the interior. And we'll look at one more here. Let's look at this one. This looks like it's spotless. $164,900 on a little more than a quarter of an acre with just under 1,300 square feet. This has been on the market for 102 days. And this is a 1965 model for just under $165,000. This looks very pretty, spotless. Looks like it has an AC unit, beautiful backyard. Very nice, very clean. So this is 165,000, kind of a tight little kitchen there. Cute though. And as you see, the cabinets are not brand new, but very nice, dark countertop. Double bowl sink, which is very nice. A lot you could do with that. If you wanted to lighten it up, you could paint those cabinets. Put some different hardware on there. There's the bathroom. Very nice. Here's the other bedroom. So this is another move-in ready, and this, was in, uh, this is in Augusta, Georgia on Coleman Avenue. And this has been on the market for 102 days, 164.9. And as you see, there are many more. There's another one for 159.9, four bedroom, two bath, 148, 134 on a quarter of an acre. So you get a little bit of property in Augusta, Georgia for the money. Okay, so let's move on from Augusta, Georgia, and let's go over or up to Alabama, I should say. So let's go up to Alabama, and we're going to start out in the same price point. We're going from ninety dollars to $125,000. And let's see what we can get. We're going to start right here. Uh, we'll start with this one. This one, oh, we might as well start at the lower price point. This one's $94,000. This one's been on the market for 32 days. This is a larger home. This is on more than a quarter of an acre. It's 2,163 square feet, and it's $94,000. This is on Cloverdale Road in Montgomery, Alabama, 36111, a 1955 model. So let's check this one out. Nice brick ranch. A lot of brick homes. Looks like it might need a little attention. Not too terrible, though. Oh, yeah. This one needs some work. So let's just move on from there because... We're not looking at anything that needs some work. We want to look at move-in ready. 
Let's look at this one. This is 95,000. This is a three bedroom, two bath. Again, more square footage, 2,142 square feet on 0.33 acre. And this is a 1963 model. It's only been on the market for two hours. Looks like there is some carpet. This one's gonna need a little bit of attention. Not as nice as the other three, I don't believe. But yeah, this one's going to need a little bit of updating, but it's not too bad for the money. There's your bathroom. There's your covered carport. Beautiful yard. This is on Forsyth Lane, and this is on in Montgomery, Alabama for $95,000. Let's bump it up. Okay, now we're at $125,000 price point. And this one looks very pretty. This one is just under half an acre. It's 2,033 square feet with four bedrooms and two bathrooms on Gilmer Avenue in Montgomery. And this is a 1948 model. It's only been on the market for five days. And this is $125,000. Nice fireplace, beautiful flooring. This is moving ready. Very nice. Very pretty. If you don't like the wall color, you can change it. You can change out ceiling fans, hardware. The kitchen, you could put an island in there. Nice hardwood cabinets. And there is, must be that's the back of the home. You can kind of see the bathroom there. It must have one of the exhaust fans in the ceiling. Those things work fantastic. Beautiful home. There's your pedestal sink, your tub. There's another bedroom there, good sized bedrooms. Good size house. So here is another one on Gilmer Avenue, and this is in Montgomery, Alabama for 125,000 move in ready. Let's see what else we have here. A lot of brick homes. Oh, I forgot to put in, let's hide the pending. Completely forgot that part. Okay, so now we're down to 46 homes for the money in this price point. You got a raised ranch there, 95,000 for this one. Let's see, this one's brand new on the market. Let's see, is it move in ready? Doesn't even tell us. Move on from that one. This one looks spotless. This is $114,900 on 0.28 acre little more than a quarter of an acre, 1960 model. It's been on the market for 54 days. It's less than $115,000. Looks like it's been very well cared for. Yeah, move in ready. A lot of carpet, a lot of gray. There's your kitchen. A lot you could do with this. It's a little bit dark. You could paint those cabinets. Again, new hardware. Looks like they put some effort into it. It's got new flooring, new carpet, some tongue and groove. There's your hallway. Very, very pretty on Devonshire Drive. And this is another one in Montgomery, Alabama for $114,900. Only been on the market for 54 days. And remember, the longer they're on the market, the more negotiating power you carry. And remember, you can always have a home inspection. Home inspector will come in, give you a thorough report, hopefully without giving you a lot of assumptions because many of them will do that. You can assume a lot of things when you're looking at a house, but they, you want to get down to the nitty gritty and see if there's any current issues. That's the biggest thing about a home inspection, especially if you're a new home buyer and you're really not familiar with how the process works. It's good to know that you can have faith in these people and that you know they're there to help you. Let's look at this one. This is 119,000, just had a price reduction. 
This has been on the market for 41 days. This is a larger home, uh, 2,000 square feet. Let's take a look at this one. Looks very nice. I like this. This one might need some attention. I know the yard certainly does. Oh, look at this. Surprise. Maybe it's just been unoccupied for a while and they just haven't been taking care of the yard. This is lovely. On um, Bullard Street, Montgomery, Alabama. Beautiful hardwood floors. So here you go with some character and charm. Beautiful. Big kitchen. A lot of cabinets. A lot of tongue and groove. Beautiful brick. Look at this. There's another fireplace. This home has got a lot of charm. Very nice. A little different than the other ones, but just as nice. Beautiful flooring in the bathroom. Look at this. So here is another one on Bullard Street, and this is in Montgomery. It's been on the market 41 days, $119,000 for 2,050 square feet. That is a beautiful home. Let's look at the details on this one. Uh, character and charm, absolutely beautiful, classy, full of character, gorgeous original hardwood floors, new paint, sunroom. Let's look at the history on this one real quick. Uh, not much for history. It's probably been owned by the same person for decades, and that's what we'd like to see. Okay, very nice home for $119,000 in Montgomery, Alabama. Well, that's a lot of home for the money. Let's look at this one. This is 124 9, 1,985 square feet. Good Lord, these are big houses. Let's see what we get with this one. Man. Get another garage in the back that's detached. This looks very nice. Also, look at the beautiful flooring. Built-in cabinets there. This looks very pretty also. Looks like you could move right into this one too. Maybe the bathroom might need a little bit of help, but little attention. But maybe not. I don't mind pink. A lot of tongue and groove in this one too. Here's the kitchen. Cool cabinetry. Got your electric stove there. Built-in cabinets. Look at the old hardware. I love that. Okay, and there's your laundry room. This is on Norman Bridge Road. And this is 124.9 with a little more than a quarter of an acre. And it's been on the market for almost 140 days. And that's a 1935 model. $124,000. Okay. This one looks like this one might, might be moving ready. This is $90,000 brand new on the market. Oh, we're not going to look at that because it's occupied. I'd rather look at the ones that are completely vacant. Let's try this one. This one's $125,000. It's been on the market for 105 days. It is 1,530 square feet. Southmont Drive in Montgomery, Alabama. And this is uh, a 9,148 square foot lot, two bedroom and two bath Cape Cod. Very nice. Got a fireplace there. Built-ins. Typical Cape Cod with the built-ins there. That must be double doors that lead into a primary bedroom, maybe. That must be the dining room. This must have been a rental at one time. A lot of cabinets. These photographs leave a lot to be desired, I'll tell you. Okay, so here is another one. This looks very nice. Again, move-in ready, dual closets, another bathroom. Looks very nice on Southmont Drive. $125,000 with 1,530 square feet. Let's bump it up and just see what we can get in the higher price point. We'll go back up to 165 and just see what we can get. We will go back up to the same price point as the other one. Wow, 55 homes in the price points between 125 and 165. Looks like you're going to get a lot of bang for your buck with these. Let's look at this one. This is 
139.9. Four bedroom, two bath. Been on the market for 77 days. This is a um, nine, has 1,953 square feet, four bedrooms, and two baths. Let's take a look at this one. Is this move-in ready? Mm. Doesn't look too bad, but we're going to move on. Doesn't look exactly move-in ready. Let's look at this one, 134. This one has been on the market for 27 days. It's a 1950 model with a little more than a quarter of an acre with 1,600 square feet, three bedrooms and two baths. Beautiful brick. Nice yard. Beautiful trees. This one looks move-in ready. Look at those polished floors. You have a fireplace there. Man, those floors just shine, don't they? A lot of character with this one too, with the archways. You can see the hardware on the doors. Beautiful. Little funky wood, you got your wood there and then they got a gray kitchen, but again, you could change it. You've got a breakfast bar there. Double bowl sink, this is like a farmhouse, very cool. It's got a dishwasher. So this one may not be as nice as the others, but very pretty, just, just the same. This is on Brantwood Drive, and this is $134,000. And again, it's been on the market for 27 days, and that's a 1950 model with three bedrooms and two bathrooms. Ooh, this one looks spotless. Look at this size, wow. This is a, been on the market a while, two-car garage on a quarter lot, 1,715 square feet, and we're right here in Montgomery, Alabama, 36116 on Oak Shadow Court, 149.9. Let's take a look at this one. Looks a little fancy. Nice color, though. Beautiful color. It looks like it's vaulted ceiling. Little different than the other ones. Very nice. This has got to be a newer build. Very nice. Very clean. Looks like you could move right into this one. They're missing some molding, it seems. Wow, big rooms. Big rooms. There's the bathroom. Wow, a lot of bathroom. Yeah, this one might need a little attention. Maybe been sitting vacant for a little while. There's your soaker tub. Very nice nonetheless, though. Very, very pretty. Big rooms, and this is on Oak Shadow Court, and this one is $149.9. Okay, let's see. Any more that are going to... Uh, let's see here. Ooh, look at this one. This was 160, so this will be the last one for Montgomery. Let's look at this. It's on a little more than a quarter of an acre. It's been on the market for 23 days. This is a 1977 model on Planters Road with three bedrooms and two baths, 1,536 square feet for $160,000. Nice big yard, fenced in. Looks like a stucco build. Very pretty. So there's your foyer there. All laminated flooring. Looks like it has been updated some. There is some carpet on the stairs. This has some really cool detail. Nice size home. Looks very pretty. Move in ready. There's your beautiful fireplace. Got your side built-ins. Floor to ceiling windows pretty much. It's a nice open plan. There's the kitchen. It does have the washer and dryer access right there in the kitchen, which is a little funky. Contemporary kitchen, nice cabinetry, drawers. And then there looks like to be a little nook there for like a little office. These must be the bedrooms. Looks like the bedrooms might be all upstairs maybe. 
Big walk-in closet. There's the bathroom. So this one is on Planters Road in Montgomery, Alabama, and this is $160,000. So that's where I'm going to stop for Montgomery, Alabama, and now we're going to head in to the Tennessee market. Let's go to Tennessee. We're going to go to Chattanooga. Let's go to Chattanooga, Tennessee. And we're going to go in from 90000 Let's see if we can get anything to 125. This ought to be interesting. Property type house done. Listing status high depending. Okay, let's see what we get here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Shows us that we have six homes on the market in that price point. Let's see if any of these are move in ready. Let's see here what we've got. Not many. Not many at all. Let's see if this one's moving ready. No, it is not. I have a feeling that Chattanooga, we're going to have to bump it up. Let's go from 130000 to 175 and see what we get. Okay, so here we have 17 homes. Let's see if any of these are moving ready. This one looks nice. That's bumping up in price, though, to 164. Let's see if we can find anything else that's lower. Uh, this one here is 128.9. This one's been on the market for 30 days. This is a 1955 model with two bedrooms and one bath with 720 square feet for just under $130,000. This looks like it's move in ready. Smaller house. Very cute, though. There's your kitchen. Not much of one, but it's, it's there nonetheless. Here's your laundry room, which is nice. There's the very nice bathroom. You've got a little front porch there under uh, air conditioning. So this is in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and this is quite a bit smaller than the other homes we've just seen. 720 square feet for 128 dollars on Cleveland Avenue in Chattanooga. Okay, let's see what else we get. That's move in ready. Oh, look at this cutie. Uh, let's see this one. This is 159,000. It's been on the market for 45 days. It's a 1960 model. No garage. We do have a side driveway. Move in ready. Look at this. Is very cute. You've got some architectural detail on the inside. Nice front door. This is very cute. Big door. Look at the door. It's wide. No appliances. You've got an overhead microwave. You do have a dishwasher. Just no refrigerator and doesn't look like there's a stove. Very clean. Blank palette for you right here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. There's the bathroom. Nice subway tile. That's probably one of the bedrooms. And this is on Tunnel Boulevard with a nice covered yellow front porch. Oh, that might not be yellow. That might just be the natural wood. It looks yellow. 159000 with 806 square feet in 1960 model. It's been on the market for 45 days. All right, let's see what else we have here. We're going to have to bump up the price, you guys. Wow. Okay, so quite a difference in price points and homes. Let's look at this one before we cross this off the list here. This has been on the market for 94 days. This is a 1930 model. Beautiful covered porch. Does not have a garage. Looks like it has a back deck. There it is. Beautiful deck. And there you have some carpet. And those must be the bedrooms. Dual closets there without doors. There's one of the bathrooms with vinyl flooring. 
There's the kitchen, no appliances, except for the overhead microwave. Yeah. Very nice, there's your laundry room. Looks like they might still be working on it. Very cute, very cute. Looks like it might have, um, I don't know, it doesn't show the bottom floor because if you see, because this one's, looks like it might have a basement. Well, yeah, looks like there might be basement access. This is on Taylor Street and this is on Chatt in Chattanooga, Tennessee. We're gonna have to bump up the price, you guys, because we're not getting a, we're not getting as much in this price point. So we're just gonna have to go up and that's what this search is all about. Seeing how much house we can get. And obviously we can get a lot more in Georgia and Alabama. So let's go to 225 and see what we can get. There's 30 homes in this price point, and these look very nice. And let's look at this one right here, $185,000 with 1,200 square feet. Let's look at what we get here. Super cute. Who doesn't love a covered front porch? Just makes the whole house. Vinyl siding, this one does not have a garage. Beautiful pillars, it's nice. This one's moving ready. Blank palette. Do what you want with it. Isn't this nice? There's your kitchen with the new appliances. We got a laminated countertop there. Carpeting. Looks very nice. There's your pedestal sink. Commode's a little close to the tub. Beautiful laminated floors. There's your electrical boxes, your carpet. Okay, so here's another one on Cooley Street, and this is in Chattanooga for $185,000, 1,218 square feet. It's only been on the market three days. It is a newer home. It's a 2010 model. Okay, so getting a little bit newer home for a higher price point. That looks just like it. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Uh, let's look at this one. This is $199.9. Moving up in price, getting close to the $200,000 mark. Beautiful porch. Nice yard. Hmm, that's a little funky. Look at the character with this one. Oh my goodness, isn't this lovely? Love it. It's like a craftsman build. Look at this. A lot of character with this one. Looks like you could move right in this one too. Very nice kitchen. Looks like it has vinyl flooring. There's your pantry. You've got the uh, nice ceiling there with the recessed lighting. All stainless steel appliances. Got a little area for the table. Isn't that nice? Isn't that crafty? That's a creative idea there. There's your primary, does have some carpet. Beautiful woodwork, oh my gosh. Look at the woodwork, beautiful. There's another bedroom. That looks like another bedroom. And there's the bathroom. You got your built-ins there and the cool hardware. There's the tub with the tile. And there's an office area, probably in the third bedroom or a den, I guess. Good size room though. Right off the kitchen, it looks like. So yeah, that's definitely an office. And this looks to be maybe the laundry or the sun porch. There's the hardware. Love it. This is on Arlington Avenue, and this is a 1920 model on a quarter of an acre. It's only been on the market three days, and this is in Chattanooga for $199.9. All righty. Let's see what else we get. Got a lot of raised ranches in Chattanooga. The price just goes up. This one's adorable too. Look at this one. 215000 This is a 1940 model. It's been on the market 110 days. It's a two bedroom, one bath with 1,014 square feet, 9,583 square foot lot in Chattanooga, 37411 on Terrell Street. Let's take a look at this one. Very pretty. Now this is different. Blue cabinets. 
very pretty. So, ooh, look at this. I love these craftsmen. These are just probably one of my favorite style homes. The, just the architecture, the detail, the woodwork. It's just beautiful. And the built-ins. This is a nice house. It's too bad the flooring is laminated. Nothing wrong with laminated flooring, but I bet it was hardwood at one time, and I bet it was just beautiful. A lot of detail in this one. Look at how pretty and just I love the classic white. It's just timeless. Very nice home. And this again is on Terrell Street in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Move in ready. Nice size rooms. Okay, so this is another one. We'll look at one more. Okay, let's see. Let's see what else we have here. There's one for 180, 210, 200, 225. Let's see what else we have here. Pick a home, any home. <laughs> uh, let's see here. What one strikes my fancy? Let's see. Uh, can look at this raised ranch. This might be a split level. This is uh, on a quarter of an acre. It's been on the market for 32 days with a one-car garage. This one's 225,000, 1,250 square feet. Hmm. Nice flooring. Very nice. Another move-in ready. And there's your stairs to enter the next level. Very nice. Look at this. Okay, you guys. So this is another one. This is a split level ranch, raised ranch, I should say. Carpeting. Again, you can change out the light fixtures. This looks like this is the primary with the ensuite bathroom. There's the bath. Looks all updated. Very fresh and clean. There's your kitchen. It does have the breakfast bar here. Now, this has always boggled my mind why they put these intrusive cabinets up, but you could take this out if you wanted to, and it would really open up the space a lot more. You have plenty of cabinets. Black appliances, stainless and black appliances, all natural hardwood cabinets, double bowl sink, looks very nice, looks very cozy. There's your basement. This would be in the lower level. There's your hot water heater, room for your washer and dryer. This would be a finished basement. Very nice. And there's your garage. Okay, so this is on North Briar Lane in Chattanooga, Tennessee, you guys, for $225,000. It's got a quarter of an acre. It's been on the market for 32 days, and it does have the one-car garage. So there are quite a few single-family homes between those three states, Chattanooga, Tennessee, Montgomery, Alabama, and Augusta, Georgia, that are priced between basically $90,000 and $225,000. And it's obvious that we did have to bump up the price in Chattanooga, Tennessee to, to find our, you know some really nice move-in ready homes. So now we're going to go over to the rental market. Let's go back over to Montgomery, Alabama. And we're in a single family homes right now for rentals. And this one here is $1,225. Nice brick ranch. Let's see what we get here. Uh, Hyde Park Drive in Montgomery. 36117. Let's look at this one. It looks spotless. Does not look like there's a garage. Looks like it has a fenced in yard. Very nice. Does have some carpet. And there's the bathroom there. Nice yard. And there's the backside. It looks very nice. And this one again is 5801 Hyde Park Drive in Mont Montgomery. And that's $1,225 per month. Let's look at this one here. $1,250 per month. Brooklyn, Brooklyn Curve in Montgomery, 36117. A three-bedroom, one-bath with 1,417 square feet. Has a fireplace. Looks very nice. So this is another rental for $1,250. You've got a galley-style kitchen there. Black and stainless appliances. There's your pantry or closet. Hard to say there. Looks a little bit dark, but not bad at all. And there's your bathroom there. 
laminated flooring, more carpet. So this is another one on Brooklyn Curve, and that's $1,250 per month. Here's one that's brand new on the market. This is $1,450 a month. Three bedrooms, two bath with 1,414 square feet. Spotless, you got your tray ceiling there. Floors are just glistening. There's, looks to be maybe, there's your kitchen. Looks like the cabinet might need to be put back on its hinges. <laughs> You've got the black countertop there. Your backsplash looks very modern, looks very clean. And here's, there's the bathroom with double sinks. And this is another one, and this is a the lid down people and this is on Oakside Drive and this one is an uh, 1450 dollars here's another one for 1650 1645 this is a big house 2376 square feet this one says it's a two bedroom two bath for eight hundred dollars per month this one is a huge house look at this house 3400 square feet for 26 hundred dollars a month holy smokes we got to look at this just for giggles holy moly twenty six hundred dollars for rent for this big home wow this is something look at this twenty six hundred dollars a month is what you're gonna pay for this big old house in montgomery alabama as a rental very very nice but that's quite a mortgage payment, I would say. You could afford quite a nice house in these areas for this kind of rent. There's your backyard. Looks very, very nice nonetheless. Looks very nice. And this is 1112 Old Breckenridge Lane in Montgomery, Alabama for $2,600. Here's another house. This is a three-bedroom, one-bath for $1,195 per month. 1,492 square feet. Looks very nice. These look like beautiful neighborhoods. Don't really know until you actually drive around and visit them at different times of the day, mind you. Very pretty. So here is another single family home in Montgomery, Alabama. That is a rental. Very nice and clean, move in ready. Big houses. There's your fireplace. Looks like that might be an electric fireplace. Beautiful, beautiful features on the inside. Look at these windows. This is a very nice home. So here's another one. 3060 Brevard Avenue in Montgomery, Alabama. Does say pets are okay. And that's 1,492 square feet, three bedroom, one bath for $1,195. All right, so let's move down to georgia and let's see what they've got for the rentals and we're going to go the same we're going to go to single family okay and here we have 221 rentals available this one's a thousand fifty this is a four bedroom two bath with 1356 square feet thousand fifty good luck finding a house in in venice for a thousand dollars a month for rental or in Sarasota County for that matter. So this is in Augusta, Georgia for $1,050 a month. Looks very nice, very nice and clean. Looks like it has a fenced in backyard. So that is at 2913 Panhandle Circle in Augusta, Georgia. This one is $1,270 a month. And this is a three bedroom, two bath on Pheasant Drive, 1,154 square feet. This is corporate, corporate rental here. Looks like it does have a lot of carpet, vinyl flooring. And there's your galley kitchen. A lot of carpet. And there's your bathroom there. Looks very nice and clean. Move in ready. And this is on Pheasant Drive and Hef Hefisba, Georgia. 30815 for 1270. Here's another one for $13.45. Here's a nice home. 
$1,425 per month here on Barrington Drive with 1,300 square feet. Three bedroom, two bath. Looks very nice. There's your fireplace. Nice cathedral ceilings. Very clean. There's your kitchen. Not too bad. A lot of carpet here in the bedrooms. There's your bathroom. One of them. The bedrooms don't look to be huge. And there's the back side. This one has a fenced in yard also. 3406 Barrington Drive for eleven hundred and I'm sorry, fourteen hundred and twenty-five dollars. This one looks very nice. This is just under fifteen hundred dollars a month. Three bedroom, two bath, Amura Drive in Augusta, Georgia, three zero nine oh six. Just under fifteen hundred for three bedrooms and two bathrooms. Very pretty kitchen. There's some carpet. There are, these must be the bedrooms. And that is at 2230 Mira Drive in Augusta, Georgia for $1,495. And here's another one for $1,550. Three bedroom, two bath with 1,672 square feet. Another one for $1,695. Another one for $2,050. $1,950, $1,050, $1,375. What did I say the rental prices were? Eleven fifty-two. So I'd say that's a little bit off because they seem a lot higher than that. This one's thirteen seventy-five. Of course, these are on the outskirts, but there's one for fourteen fifty. So yeah, I would say that they're a little bit off when it comes to their rentals. So let's go to Chattanooga and let's check out the rentals in this area. We're gonna go back to single family. Let's see how many we have. A hundred and eighty-six. So about the same amount. High ones, low two hundred dollar or two hundred for quantity of rentals and here we go so in chattanooga you can find this one here look at this one for 3200 holy moly 3726 square feet for 3200 dollars and here's a little ranch for 1995 let's take a look at this one no photographs one bed uh, four bedroom two bath on bitsy lane 2127 square feet for just under 2000 a month See what else we have here. $1,200 a month for that one. Oh, we got to put in single family. I thought I did that. Okay, let's take that out. Uh, let's see here. Here's a little house here for $1,300. And this is uh, a two bedroom, one bath with 862 square feet. $1,300 a month in Chattanooga. Looks very cute. So there's one there. Looks like it's been well maintained. Looks like it has some updates. Not a huge house, but not a huge rental price either. That's at uh, on North Chamberlain Avenue in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Here's another one, 1675. And this is two bedroom, two bath on Key West Avenue with 1,432 square feet. Looks very nice. Does have some carpet. That's a huge primary. It's odd that there's, a, looks like a, maybe it's an ensuite. Huge room. There's your full bath and there's your little sun porch there. So this one is on Key West Avenue in Chattanooga for $1,675. You got some big homes. Here's one for $5,000 a month. This one's $2,500 a month. This is more like what you'd pay in Venice. Three bedroom, three bath for tw with 2,500 square feet on Bass Road in Chattanooga. 2,500. Very pretty. Kitchen cabinets look a little bit older, but very nice. Stainless appliances. Big house. Really big house. Very clean. Move-in ready rental. There's your laundry room. Bring your own washer and dryer. There's your fireplace. It's carpeting. There's your staircase. Another one. Bath. Look at this. Very pretty. I like the built-ins there. A lot of character with this one. And this is on Bass Road in Chattanooga. And this one is $2,500 per month. Here's one for $1,600. 
So their rentals are a little lower. And it did say in my, um, in this video that I did, was it yesterday or the day before? It did say that the rentals in Tennessee have decreased over the last couple of years. And I found that very interesting. It looks, I mean, at least compared to Sarasota County, these are definitely on the lower price points. And you get huge yards. These are good size houses. Got a nice upper deck with this one here. Nice bathroom. So these are all single family homes. There's your washer and dryer, your laundry area. One of the bedrooms there. So this is on Low Water, Low Water Road in Chattanooga for $1,600. And there are many more. $1,590, $1,200, $1,200, $1,699, another one for $2,500, $1,900, $1,745, $2,100. So they're kind of all over the price point. There's one for $1,350. And there are many, 186 single families in Chattanooga. And then if we look at the apartments, you have another 172. So quite a few rentals. And then if we go back to Georgia, if you go into the apartments you have 155 apartments in Georgia. And then if we go back to Montgomery, for rentals in the apartments, we have 64. So not as many in Montgomery. And there we have a good look at the single family move-in ready housing market in Chattanooga, Tennessee, Montgomery, Alabama, and Augusta, Georgia, and a view of what a single family rental would cost you. So there you are. Wow. This is a little bit longer of an episode, but cheers to the to the market to the market of homes and uh so yeah, if you're looking for moving ready, I hope one of these is of interest to you. And until the next state of interest, you guys, it's good to see you. Keep those cups full of happiness and uh you're always welcome to subscribe to the channel here. And until the next time, have a great day. Stay safe, stay aware, and definitely stay tuned. Cheers everybody.